preparation of landscape plans using GCAD Plus is simple and straightforward. To create a new design, it's a matter of clicking on File and New and you'll be presented with this dialog box. The dialog box points to a collection of templates and you can add your own templates. So you can scroll down through the list of templates, read a description and see on the right hand side the type of design that's embedded in the template. Let's select metric 01 and you're presented with a block on the right hand side which we can explode. Your next step might be to use the draw line option, perhaps put ortho on and put the footprint of the building that you are working with on site down. We'll remove this little indicator here by selecting it, right clicking and then choosing erase or hitting the delete key on your keyboard. We've broken this design here up into its part elements so we could pick any part of it as I've done now and just move those into the design area. Right click and unselect. I could then select those again and then move them again to get them into a reasonably nice position. Let's imagine that this area here opened into an entertaining area there. So you could link some paving in this area that you add with the design that's come from the template. It would then be a simple matter of maybe using a polyline to put in some boundaries. I'll take off author, move like so to put the boundaries into position. I'd probably want to remove all of those elements, but just before I do, I'll move them off to the side, right click and unselect all, move the scale bar down into position like so, and unselect all. Then I'll switch to an A2 sheet. I'll double click in here and use the magenta box to enclose the design, right click and display on a layout, right click and deactivate. My logo and design practice information is here. Looks to me a little big, so I'll scale it by say a factor of a half. That leaves me some more room to add my logo. This design's being presented in what's called a floating viewport. So I could move the viewport like so to position the design could even bring it in a little more and unselect all to position the design on the sheet. So we have the house footprint, the boundaries, and we've added some design features. You may well want to add others. You might wish to choose symbols that are left behind on the right hand side, or we could go into the library, pick plants, say sized, pick some small trees, a small tree symbol, insert that into the drawing. So we're picking from the library that comes with GCAD plus some symbols. And I'll put some small tree symbols in there. Let's bring in some others. I'll pick the size group again. I'll bring in a couple of large shrubs. I can scroll through my large shrub set and insert them. And you can see they come in size. The, the small trees measure some two and a half to three meters in canopy diameter and the shrubs measuring 1.75 meters in canopy diameter. So there's our sheet, our design is taking place to print the design. It's just a matter of file and save as a PDF. I'll pick window and a high level of resolution, wrap a box around my design 
I'll overwrite one that I've called test. And there's our design ready to send to our client. We can zoom in a little. You can see the resolution is absolutely suitable for sending to the client. That small design, albeit not complete, has been developed in five minutes or so.